This is how to disassemble the Springfields uh, 1911s operators, the GIs, and the loaded models. We've got a Springfield operator, Marine Corps operator, with a full-length guide rod. I did that so you could see how to take that apart too. With the tools I'd have provided with Springfield, we're going to use a small flat blade screwdriver, a brass punch, and this small little L-shaped piece. I've already taken the grips off. Step one is always check to make sure that the gun isn't loaded. Once you get the grips off, actually you can pull the slide off first. We'll do that. Pull the guide right out. Push the plunger down. You swing the barrel bushing over clockwise. Pull out the slide stop. And you can pull the slide off. Pull out the string. Turn the barrel bushing counterclockwise. Slide it out. And then out comes the, the barrel. To pull out the firing pin and the extractor. You push down on the firing pin. Slide this piece down. And keep your finger over it because it will go shooting across the room. Like that. There's the firing pin and firing spring, firing pin spring. Take your flat blade screwdriver and you can pull out the extractor. Just like that. Now the slide is disassembled. Now for the frame, on ambidextrous the only thing that holds it in is the actual grip that sits there on top of this little piece right here so it just kind of pulls out and that's it. On this side what you need to do is I go ahead and I pull the uh, uh, the housing out and to do that this is where the pin comes in. You insert the pin in the little hole. What that does is that holds the, the firing, uh, the hammer spring in place. And what you do is you drop the hammer. So that puts tension on that spring. See now we have, it's real sloppy on the, on the hammer. Now you take your punch and you knock out this pin this direction. And you can pull this pin out. And now that this is holding that tension, you can slide the mainspring housing off. Now if you want to take the the rest of the insides out, you'd have to pull the pin, but be careful that this doesn't go shooting across the room. After that, pull the hammer back, pull the safety up, kind of give it a little wiggle, and pull it out gently. There's another spring here. That's kind of under tension, so be careful it doesn't go shooting across the room either. The smaller edge, the smaller piece goes forward when you put it back together. Just like that. So that comes out. And once you pull the safety off, 
the uh, grip safety comes out and so will the mainspring. Now once you get to this point there's two pins, one that holds the hammer in. And take that and just kind of push that out, it falls right out. You can slide the hammer out. And then your second pin holds in your, your sear. Pull it out. And that comes out next. You take a small screwdriver your magazine release, you push in slightly and you turn it and that comes out. It comes out as kind of an assembly. Just like that. And once that's out, trigger slides out and that's it. You've got a completely dismantled frame. Okay, this is how to put it back together. First thing I, you do is, is you put the trigger back in, make sure the adjustment screws on the bottom. That slides forward. Let's see here. Magazine release goes in next. Get it in that one part where it lines up and it snaps right into place. Just like that. Next, what I like to do is put the sear back in. Alright, put the sear together. There we go. Slide that in there. There we go, finally. Put the hammer in place. That's a whole lot less of a hassle. These pins just kind of slide in. There's The only thing that holds these pins in place is the actual uh, thumb safety that's there. Now, here's kind of a trick that I do. I put the main spring in. sure it lines up with all the little holes and stuff kind of falls in place what I do is I take the mainspring housing and I just kind of slide it just kind of in place right there just to kind of hold it all together drop that now since that's kind of held in place I put that there pull the hammer back and put the safety in place. Whoops, forgot something. Forgot the spring. Little end goes forward. Get that down in there. Put that there. You can take your punch and kind of push that forward so it falls into place. Now, once you get that there, you line up this right here with the little cup inside the uh, mainspring housing. Drop the hammer, go completely forward with it so it doesn't interfere with the mainspring housing, and it should push into place fairly easy. Put that pin in. Just like that. Now what you can do is pull the hammer back so it releases the pin. Slide the pin out. Check it, make sure everything works. And then you can put the other safety in. And that's basically it.